Hey, what's going on guys? This is here back again with another video. Today, I'm doing another best of five against another pro from Sandstorm. This time, I'm going to be up against Mini Minter. He's one of the best players in the game. Finished top 50 on ladder last season, and he's a competitive player for Sandstorm. So, Mini, how you doing, dude? What's up, Hats? I'm doing good. I'm ready for this best of five, man. Alright. Um, anything you want to say about yourself before we get into this? Any, like, shoutouts, whatever? Mm, just shout out Team Sandstorm and ask for me. Mini Mentor underscore CR for Twitter, and I'll keep it humble from there. All right, so let's just jump into it. All right, so for the first deck, um, I'll show you my decks right now. I've got this hog, uh, this Mega Knight deck that's kind of I really don't like. I've got the Pekka deck, of course, that I did on CWA video. I've got three Musketeers, I've got the Tall Ghost deck, and I've got Expo. I think for the first match, I've been running Expo all day on ladder. I do have that deck on my profile right now, but I think I'm just gonna run with the Hog Mega Knight. I don't think he'll expect me to run it, so we're gonna see what we can do here up against mini minter um we're gonna give him the good luck and yeah we have the goblin hunt starting hand of course goblin hunt's one of the best cards in the meta right now it is fairly annoying to play against um i'm gonna play three tiles away from the river though that way if he does have a hog rider we can use um the goblin hunt to pull it from either side which is obviously fairly helpful also megan in here looks like this could be expo kind of a weird zap for mini minter misses some of the bats but that's not gonna be that big of a deal for him. We're just gonna max, uh, match his ghost. It's weird, like, I haven't really played much ghost. I didn't have it maxed out on the ladder last season, so I really didn't get an opportunity. And there weren't many tournaments or events or nothing um, since ladder last season. I'm gonna do a bit of a ghetto push right here. See how it goes. What is that one for that? It's gonna kill the Ewiz. We're gonna tank the, um, the ghost pretty much, but we do get the Inferno Dragon onto the tower there. He's going to give us the well played, and that's going to be a very aggressive but very good start to the game so far. Um, <laughs> I don't really know why I ended up doing that kind of aggressive play, but it ended up working out. We're going to try to pull this, this ghost off. It doesn't end up working out, so that's going to take our tower there. Actually, no, it's going to have 33 HP. So I guess we do still have our tower, but not really. This is going to be a very, very exciting game, it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks like he's running the Prince deck, actually. And the Prince is actually going to turn around and kill my ghost. It's kind of annoying, but it's not really that big of a deal because we do have the Goblin Hut. That will stop the Prince's charge over and over and over again, allowing our Inferno Dragon to just jump in there, take it out pretty easily. I'm actually going to play a Mega Knight as well. Give a little bit of a counter push, hopefully keep our Hut alive a little as well. So, that looks pretty good. He actually is going with the giant here, and the ooze as well. The ooze is going to destroy my Inferno Dragon, unfortunately, but the goblins and the, um, the Mega Knight should be able to do a pretty good job of looking at that giant. We'll get some bats up here as well. Let's gonna take that out fairly easily. I'm gonna do another ghost right here. I'm gonna do another Inferno Dragon onto that ghost. He's going to zap on our just gonna goblin up here. Let this ghost kill his ears. Unfortunately, the ghost does die to the prince charge. We couldn't go invisible in time, but it would have just attacked it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I think I'm gonna go minor and skeleton barrel, just get some chip damage. You know, set the ball rolling. I'm gonna take the second tower. He is going to zap it down, although the ghost is actually going to walk up to the tower. He's gonna get two hits there, which is very good for us. And I'm gonna be preparing for a giant push here. Alright, let's see if we can take this ghost out fairly easily. Um, it is going to be tanked a little bit. Or not tanked, but it's going to go invisible for a little bit. It's going to be a little unfortunate, but we're just going to try to cycle back to another Inferno Dragon. Or we could have just played Mega Knight in the back there. It might have been a little bit of an easier play, but that is okay. He's got a huge push coming down the line, actually. And we're just going to get another Goblin for up. Another Inferno Dragon. Um, and try to get him out of the looks like Mega Knight. I miss playing this game so far. Um, maybe you don't have as much practice as you want. You're kind of strong for studying for exams. So it's going to be game one there for this game. It's going to get a nice big push there at the end, and we are going to lose at that tower. Probably used my Inferno Dragons a little too freely. Um, could have definitely played that a little better. We're just going to go in with this Hog deck for the second match. See if we can start a little bit of a comeback. Alright, so hopping in here, it looks like our starting hand, we do have the hog of the starting hand, we also have guards and a furniture dragon, so we can really kind of react to anything. 
Um, if he plays Balloon, if he plays, you know, Hog Rider, if he plays Prince at the Bridge, he's just gonna play Ghost in the back to so go Hog Rider the Bridge in the same lane. Maybe get a few hits on the tower. Looks like he's gonna have the Golem deck. The Golem, um... What's it even called? Golem Goblin Hunt deck. So we're gonna fireball that flying machine, and we are going to play the guards on this. We're gonna surround it. That way, it won't take out our other guards. Megman's gonna clean that up right there. Probably just gonna zap that. See if he plays Goblin Hunt. This is actually good with the Goblin Hunt there, so maybe a little bit of a good prediction. Maybe just a bit of game sense there for me. We're gonna play the Royal Ghost against that. Unfortunately, we don't have poison poisons normally pretty good against goblin huts and golem decks in general. However, we do have the royal ghost to take care of that, which is going to be very helpful, obviously. So he does actually have to waste a night witch to defend his hut, which is a pretty good play from him. All these early game trades are always kind of funny, like, do you want to actually give up a night witch for just keeping your huts alive? And huts are really good right now, so I would probably say in most scenarios you do, um, which is kind of different from other metas in the past. Looks like the frying machine is actually going to go in front of the golem, which is very good for us. We're gonna get our guards down and our inferno dragon now. We do have ice golem in case we decide to play ghost, so we're all going to play that ice golem right now. It's gonna tank the Omega Moon is good for us. The inferno dragon is going to clean up that golem very easily. Unfortunately, however, um, the ghost is going to walk out of the tower. It doesn't end up working out because the ghost is invisible. It's always kind of a weird mechanic. Ghost on ghost. I'm not really too used to the interaction quite yet, but we're getting there. Maybe a good zap here? No, it does actually spawn four bats at the end, which is fairly unfortunate for us. Fairly bad timing, but he's gonna get another hut up right here. I think I'm just gonna fireball that, take some value out of that, and get ready for another golem. Especially when he golems, if this hut that goes down a little bit, I'll end up causing him to I'm actually play a ghost in the right lane, kind of a strange play there. I'm just going to play my minions on top of that and get ready for another hog push. And further dragon, of course, against the golem. I'm going to zap that now and get some damage onto the flying machine. I think I'm going to try to fireball it all as well. Yeah, we can actually fireball this, but so this is going to be... No, we can't! Oh, he zaps my ice golem, so it goes down. Kind of misplaying that a little bit there. Oh, that power is going to be another like one. He's going to have another one. So we're going to go down 0 and 2 in the series of these mini men here. I think we're going to go off. I don't know. Should we bring out our, our CWA deck or P.E.K.K.A deck? I think I may want to show it. Um, This is actually the worst I've done in a best of five so far on my channel. I went 3-0 against Bag, of course, and I... um. I beat all crap 5-2, but I wasn't down, I was not down 0-2 in that, I was actually, um, I went 0-1, and, and then I went 2-1, and one. if you guys saw that video, make sure to check it out, it was a very, very close series, came right down to the end, we're gonna see if we can pull this series back as well, he's gonna have another ghost, I'm just gonna play my furnace, he might have seen what deck I was playing, I think he was kinda like, annoyed on Twitter about it, like, what's that, it's gross, that's nasty, oh, kinda stuff, you know, like, why would you ever- Oh my god. Hold on. I'm so bad right now. What is going on? I'm just playing really badly right now. Um. Yeah. I'm just playing really badly right now. Just sloppy, kind of. I don't even know. Um, still gonna upload this though. You know. You have good days, you have bad days in CR. Sometimes the bad days may be, like, kind of, I don't know, are really, really bad days. Um, but that is okay. I mean, I haven't had as much practice as maybe I would like. This is just kind of sloppy stuff for me right now. We're not really taking my time, unfortunately. Maybe focused more on the uh, video side of things than I should be. Um, but we'll just see if we can still come back to this game. It does have minor poison, though, so I'm not really thinking that I can break through. He does also have guards, he's got the ghost, which does a lot of damage. He's got the minions, so it's gonna be hard to break through. But maybe we can get our huts up, maybe we can win, you know, never give up. I'm just gonna poison onto that. Then the fire speed is actually going to jump onto that, so the ooze is going to die there. Which is going to be good for us. We get another hut going up there. Hopefully the furnace and the fire speed can maybe get a little connection. The um the Spear Goblin does do a little bit of damage, so we're gonna get a cannon card here. That should take out the ghost fairly quickly. 
maybe uh, force him to play minions or something. He does actually play guards there. So now we're going to have to play our pocket in the back, start up a big push. We don't really have as much of a heart spam as I would like to do that. We need to the bridge. It's going to be a good signal for me to start pushing. He does have a P.E.K.K.A as well, so I think that's just going to be game right there. He also has guards and minions. Um, and he has poison here, so if I try to build up, he can just prevent some poison like that. It's going to be a pretty good play for him. And yeah, that's going to be game right there. Oh, so obviously, not the greatest series for me, but you know, he wants him to do some, I kind of just messed up an arrow at the beginning, he wasn't really thinking about it too much, kind of just like, first 30 seconds, you're not really paying that much attention, and then, there he goes, um, gonna, <laughs> oh my goodness, alright, well, we beat off crap, we beat back, who's the in there, uh, hopefully next time, I don't know, who do you guys want to see next, in the next best of three, obviously, or best of five, obviously, Mini Venture is a very good player, um, but yeah, I guess that's going to be the series. Good game. Oh my goodness, hold on. Alright, now I'm going to bring him on the mic. We're going to see what he says. We're going to see what I say. And I don't know. I suck. <laughs> GG's, man. Bro, like, I'm What was it with arrows at the beginning? I don't even know, dude. Hold on. Like, um... <laughs> I don't even know. I guess I'm a little, like, rusty. I don't know. I guess, man. I guess, man. Um, yeah, I gotta work on my I mean, arrows. I, I have the matchup. No, but like, even still, like, that was just, that was just bad. Um, but that's okay. Like, I, overall, still in the best of vibes. Like, I beat all crap. I beat bag. Lose too many minor. You know, you win some, you lose some. Um, yeah. it just, you know, stinks to get nah, the first lying, loss yeah. like that. I'm better than all of those people. Yeah, no, he's actually the best player I've ever seen, dude. He's an absolute exactly. monster. Exactly. He's just not old enough for CCGF, unfortunately. Sadly. But he'll, he'll win it, he'll win it next year. He'll win it next year. Trust me. Yeah. Mark my words, man. All right, any last words before I wrap the video? Um, um, well, thanks for having me on. Shout out to Sandstorm once again. <laughs> and many mentor underscore CR Twitter, you know it, follow it, just at 4k. And uh, Sandstorm gonna win RPL and Worlds. No, all Nova all time. the way, Nova all the way. Nah, nah, let's nah. Go. We, we destroy Nova. Let's go, Nova, let's go. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for. Group, oh, okay, okay, big deal, big deal. Undefeated, win, win, win. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Nonetheless, pleasure, um, sorry for making it maybe a little easy on you, not showing as much skill as you have maybe in that last match. Um, I kind of just threw that at the beginning. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Mini Mentor. Obviously, a longtime friend of mine and a great player in his own right. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out his links down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Alright guys, so before this video ends, I actually want to let you all know that I am back on streaming on Twitch. Believe me guys, it might be a little bit better gameplay than what I showed now. I've been streaming almost every day. I believe I missed a day to film that CWA video actually, so nothing unproductive of course. I might be a little off next week, but catch me on Twitch at HazardCR from 4 to 6 every day. Maybe not next week because I have exams. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much again for watching the video. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.